First of all, I'd like to say my name. My name is James Boudreau and uh, born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, uh, free ministry was uh, given to me by God in 2003. Um, free ministry means freedom reaching everyone everywhere. It's a ministry of that ministers to the least of the least, alcohol, drug addicts, and the homeless. Free ministry started in a little garage. It was my shop in Merle Zimmet. It was a welding fabrication shop that we took the office and where the secretaries were and we turned it into a homeless shelter. Uh, it was in 2003. We escalated from there in 2007, getting 17 acres of land in Green Sea, uh, South Carolina, which was a, we call the farm. And this farm has been blessed abundantly by God with uh, now on our third house. Um, and, uh, and everything we have out there, our wells, our water, everything we have out there has been blessed to us by God through people. Well, I told the guys the other day, we're like a well. And, and we go down into the well to reach the lost. And without people at the top to hold the rope. And that would be the people that financially bless us. And that's how we, that's how we survive. We're a 5013C ministry. We are a nonprofit. We have no federal grants. We have no grants of any kind. All of our finances, all the money that Free Ministry has received are by people like you. Everything that we have, we live totally by faith and by faith alone. Okay, Free Ministry, it's not a church, it's, it's an outreach. And some of the guys that we're reaching are within hours of death. Um, there's people at our farm right now that we've rescued that were literally, I had to be brought directly to the hospital and, and IVs and and even doctors saying these men were within hours of death. Uh, we have been blessed to be able to find these people. And through the Holy Spirit, we get led. And on the way home, uh, I met a man last, uh, last weekend. I ain't seen him in a while. I knew he was doing drugs, and I spoke to him about my Jesus. And I told him he had to farm out here. Well, unfortunately, while we were in New Jersey doing mission work, and on the way home, it was a phone call from family members saying that uh, he OD'd Friday night. And uh, they found him on Sunday morning. He has a 12-year-old son who I come to know. And I know that I can't reach everybody. And I did ask them to come. But some of these cases that we deal with are, 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 are life-threatening minutes, hours, suicides, asking, pulling guns and pistols out of people's mouths and telling them about Jesus. And they don't really understand. And I said, I've been sent by Jesus. I've been sent by Jesus to help you. I once was lost, but now I'm found. On 2003, it was October the, the 5th at 11.57. I was homeless myself, a drug addict, walking the streets of Myrtle Beach. When a lady showed me some love and brought me into a church, I surrendered my life to Jesus that day. And my God completely delivered me from IV drug addiction, crack cocaine, marijuana, alcohol. But most importantly, he has delivered me from self. It wasn't the devil, it was me. My biggest problem was self. And my God delivered me from that. I'm grateful for that. So as I'm saying, as I mourn with my brother that died, that I know that I planted a seed, and whether he actually reached him from, from Saturday to the time of his death, I don't know. But I know now that I have an obligation to help with his son. And free ministry will help that little boy. We'll do whatever we can. Free ministry um, has been supported by some a few churches. We're going after lost souls going at the liquor store parking lots in the middle of the night and playing the guitars and praising God and giving away blankets to people. Um, free ministry in South Carolina and Green Sea's goal is, is to reach the laws, but it's also a food ministry to give away food to the needy. We distributed a lot of food last year through the hands of Jesus Christ. We do not seek recognition from men to get on TV and say what we do. We don't. We get recognition from the Lord above. And, and, my, and my citizenship lays in heaven. My bank account is in heaven. And I'm teaching others that have come in there broken to be able to disciple the word of God and to take that out into the street and to win others to Jesus Christ. So this vision is growing. And, and we're, in, we're in Spartanburg and we're in, in Greenville. We're in Randleman. Um, I just want to continue to work. Um, uh, I'm 52 years old. And I found Jesus Christ when I was 43. And I just my urge is that Maybe through what I do, and, the, and I could be an example to other Christians to possibly get off the couch. I and mean, yes, we need prayer, but we need some workers for the field because the harvest is so great, but the workers are so few. And with more help and, 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 and donations and, and just picking up that phone of encouragement would be greatly appreciated. You can call me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm not a Sunday and Wednesday pastor. 
It's not about free ministry. It's not about a church building. It's about Jesus Christ and reaching the lost. And I'm so thankful because my Bible says, I was hungry, you didn't feed me. I was thirsty, I had no water. I had no shelter. And they replied, when did we ever see you like this, Jesus? And Jesus replied, when you've done unto the least of these brothers of mine, you've done unto me. So as we go and seek the work and to seek these lost, I really look at them helping Jesus Christ. That's a Jesus Christ out there that I'm helping. And I'm so grateful today to be able to do that. That's all I want to say. I just love the Lord Jesus Christ with all my heart.